Hi folks, welcome to my channel. In my last video, I attempted to say some tricky German words and phrases and tongue twisters. I had collected and compiled the list of these words, phrases, and tongue twisters from just random Google searches. I was searching things like the hardest words in the German language, uh, difficult German words, but also Zungenbrechers, tongue twisters. So I was just like googling for these things and I made myself a list of things that I found online and um, then I narrowed that list down to the few that I used on that video. The two tongue twisters that I did in that video, one of which was recommended by a viewer and the other one I picked up from a random website, both of those will commonly be found if you're googling looking for German tongue twisters or Zungenbrecher. So one of those Zungenbrecher that I did in the last video, which I thought was about some guy named Houghton Po something something, I thought it was just some random, like a kid's story made up thing, and I asked, in fact, for my German viewers to tell me, who is this guy? Like, why was this thing written about him? What did his aunt do? Because it's this super long word that includes somebody's name and something about their aunt being assassinated, and I found it kind of confusing, and I often get answers in my comments. And boy, did I ever get answers. And quite honestly, I feel like an ass. You know, like the other tongue twister that I did in that video about some family named Fritze who were fishermen, I thought this is all just made up silly stuff. But oh no, there in my comment section, I got educated. So first off and foremost, I need to straight up apologize for choosing that particular tongue twister, which appears to be from colonizers and is racially offensive to indigenous people of South Africa, and I had no clue about that, and I should have educated myself beforehand. It was first a comment from viewer Geert Frihoff, who was explaining to me some pronunciation but ended his comment with, don't bother using the word, it's racist. I read that and I thought, oh my god, what did I read? And then I read a comment from somebody called uh, Mars Orr, and he explained, toad toad British and South African English is a term that was historically used to refer to Khoi Khoi, the non-Bantu indigenous nomadic pastorals of South Africa, Wikipedia, patante patante. So after those two comments, I thought, oh, oh no, this thing's about, like, real people? So I went to Wikipedia. So since I was clueless about any and all of this, let's make this a learning experience for all of us. Because I'm telling you, I was on at least three different websites that were offering me a variety of German tongue twisters, and they offer that one over and over again, and they don't explain the dirty little background. So according to Wikipedia, Hodento, racial term, Hodento, British South African, is a term historically used to refer to Khoi Khoi, the non-Bantu indigenous nomadic pastoralists of South Africa. The term has also been used to refer to non-Bantu indigenous population as a whole, now collectively known as the Khoisan. Use of the term is now depreciated, sometimes considered offensive. The preferred name of the non-Bantu indigenous people of the Western Cape area being Khoi, Khoi Khoi, or Khoisan. Please forgive my mispronunciations. But sure enough, if you go further on in the Wikipedia, it comes from Old Dutch. We're talking about colonizers and it goes into theories as to how the name for them started. The word Hodentoad possibly being used as early as the 1700s, being pronounced slightly different like Hodmandod or hot not, but in the basic end, it's a derogatory term for people of color. I had no clue about any of this. There's a part here where it says, uh, however, no definitive Dutch etymology for the term is known. A widely claimed etymology is from a supposed Dutch expression equivalent to stammer or stutter, applied to the Khoi Khoi on account of the distinctive click consonants in their language. Wow, I had no clue about all of that. And I feel bad about it, so like I said, I just want to use this as a learning experience for not just me, but anybody else out there that might like look up German tongue twisters and not know like 
the dirty history behind some of them, I had no clue. I really do appreciate you viewers for your fun facts that you leave in my comments. You educate me every damn video. And in the future, I will be damn sure to do better in researching what I'm talking about. In addition, I'm just going to demonetize that last video. I don't want to earn money off of that and I'll update it so that at the end it links people back to this video so they can learn what that's really about. And I'll update the description on the last video too, informing people as such. Ugh, I'm embarrassed. I apologize. And speaking about going through the comments on that last video, I also had asked at the end of that last video that if any of you had some tricky German words or phrases you wanted me to try, leave them in the comment below and that I would try them. And some people responded in the comments, which was nice, because I was feeling a bit like an ass and then some of you made me smile. I wasn't just given tricky German words to try either. And I'm gonna try them. Peter Meyer throws out that I should attempt the Irish word Griangra Fadioria Riachta. Griagra Fid. No, wait, wait, wait. Griagra Fadiori. No, no, no. Griagra Fadwariachta. That's a strange word. That seems like a made up word. And then there's a comment from someone calling themselves Gunter with H. What's fantastic about Gunter with H's comment is I looked at it and I thought, what language is that? So I put it into Google Translate and... This is one word. According to Google Translate, this is Czech and it means 330,333. Alright, let's listen and then I'll try it. One more time. Okay, okay, okay. Let me listen again. Oh my god. I think I will never attempt to learn the Czech language. Whoa. The next comment is from Commander Tigerius. He says, You missed a A with the umlauts in Streichholz-Schechtelchen. Just saying, just joking. Listen, Commander, I didn't miss it. The umlauts, my, my mouth doesn't like the umlauts. My brain doesn't like them either. It trips on them. He goes on saying, just joking. Great job, German is hard, but also we love abbreviations. So, KFZ, KFZ, Haftpflicht is more, kind of more okay ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hear people here shorten it to abbreviations. But then Commander Tagirius says, try, and I'm just going to try it, what he wrote here. Zain, Zame, Ziegen, Zugen, Zain, Zenter, Zucker, Zum, Zusner, Zug. I shall try this German tongue twister one more time, a little bit faster. Nailed it. Jens Gorka says, If you take a brat herring to a gathering, it becomes a gathering brat herring. The bilingual variant used both languages with both pronunciations. Oh, yeah, that's tricky. If you take a brat herring to a gathering, it becomes a gathering brat herring. That's tricky, Jens. Black Lab 30 says, For Suk Small Mit, try this. Oh, I know this one. This, this too. This was just like the other ones was on every page when you start Googling around looking for uh, Deutsche Zungenbrecher, German tongue twisters. So, Black Lab 30 wants me to try. Blaukraut bleibt Blaukraut und Brautkleid bleibt Brautkleid. I don't find that so hard. Let me try to do it faster. Blaukraut bleibt Blaukraut und Brautkleid bleibt Brautkleid. No, I don't think I did too bad. Anders Wickstrom says, search YouTube for Rabarbara, Rabarbara, and listen to the German tongue twisters compound word extravaganza of Barbara, Rabarbara, and her barbarians. Barbara, Rabarbara, and her barbarians? Barbara, Rabarbara, and her barbarians. Oh boy, but once again, I really do gotta say, I thank you folks a lot for your comments.
honestly, I think we got a cute little community here, and I think it's kind of something special that um, I learned something from my comments. I learned from you guys. You all throw out some interesting, fun facts, and this time, that was important. I don't want to be, like, pushing out colonizers' racial propaganda. No way. So I appreciate those of you who leave me those comments, inform me of your fun facts, and just share your thoughts. And also thanks to you who played along and gave me a few more of these things to try out. I've certainly learned my lesson from going to random web pages looking for German tongue twisters. Now I will turn to you folks. I will not trust random web pages anymore and I will research more before I open my mouth. Or I'll try. Regardless, in the end, I do just want to say I thank you all for being here. I thank you for your time. I thank you if you click like. I'll be coming at you again real soon with something new. Maybe a little live stream soon where we can chat. So make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell for notifications so you get notified when I do that. But until that time comes, I do hope you're taking care of yourself.